Look how freaking big that is, guys. That is literally bigger than my hand. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> really much. Mine's intact. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today we're in Osaka. I'm Gaurav, and I'm joined with Mina. We're gonna find out what the best sandwich in Osaka is. We're going to two different shops, starting with one called Dolly Toast. We're gonna go meet Nikki and get started with the first shoot. So it's time to eat. Okay guys, we made it. Uh, running a bit late, we found Nikki. Hi guys! We are gonna be shooting some crazy sandwiches today. And the first place is called Dolly Toast. Let's go. Okay guys, we made it to our first location. So what will we be trying today, Nikki? So it's going to be a whole bunch of super big, super cheesy, super fluffy sandwiches. What are we getting again? Everything. <laughs> Everything? Hachiko district style. How many can you eat, Mina? Five. <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> They just put the bread in the oven. Um, what, what type of bread is this, Nikki? So it's called Nama Shokupan. Shokupan. And basically that's like a Japanese style sandwich bread. And it's so good that apparently you can eat it just like that. Like after it's been baked, you don't have to put anything on it. It tastes amazing. Okay guys, that shop was a bit crowded, so we're actually heading to their other location, which is closed down right now. We got all the food and the staff's accompanying us to go there, and we're gonna film the eating scene. And we also got a loaf of walnut bread, which we will try later. So, it's time to get our carbs on! Ready? Yes! yes. Guys, we finally made it. Here are our sandwiches. Nikki, which one do you want? All of them. But if I have to choose one, then the, the croque monsieur. Okay, Mina, which one do you want first? Avocado. 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 Cool. And I want the bulgogi one right here. Bulgogi? Yeah, it looks really good too. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? It's so good. Like, the outside is garlicky, and then the inside with the egg. So fluffy. Avocado and egg. Okay, try it out. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So good. What do you think? Mmm. Avocado sauce and egg is very good. Very good. And garlic butter sauce. So good. <laughs> what what is what is toro toro mean? Toro toro is like creamy. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna try to eat mine. I got the bulgogi and egg one. I already ate half of it. It has uh, scr like scrambled egg and uh, boiled egg and then bulgogi and just a bunch of mayonnaise. I think it's really good. The sauce is pretty sweet. The two types of egg, different textures with the bulgogi beef. Absolutely amazing. Okay, we got the next round of sandwiches. I got the blueberry, just simple blueberry jam in between their bread. And no, it's not the garlic bread this time. <laughs> oh. So much jam in there, oh my god. <laughs> Check it out. It's really good, like simple but great. And it's like only four bucks. So mm -hmm. mean a while. Teriyaki chicken. Teriyaki chicken. Teriyaki chicken. You wanna add some shiracha sauce? So shiracha they have sauce. they have shiracha at the shops to add to like the sandwiches. Your first time trying oh. it, right? First time, yes. Okay, here we go. Spicy. 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 Ma, ma, ma. Are you sure? Okay. All right, let's see. Let me see that. Okay. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Try it out. Mmm. Mm. Oh, good. It's okay. Spicy? Mmm. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. How's the sandwich taste? Oh, it's really delicious. Super tasty. Super tasty. Okay. Cool. And uh, Nikki, what do you have? So I've got egg bacon, and this time it doesn't have the garlic bread. It's just uh, normal regular butter. But I'm gonna top it up with a bit of sriracha. Mm. Ooh, that looks okay. like super good. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. 
careful. What is this in there? Spicy? Papa. They, they load up the sauce here. It's awesome. Yeah, you can see it's just like squishing out the side and everything. So good. It's not expensive. It's like, so cheap. It's yeah, such it's like a good deal. Four to five bucks per sandwich. They have a few locations in Osaka. It's called Dolly Toast. Okay, guys, we're in the subway. We're headed to the next spot. Nikki, what is it? It's called Backstreet Coffee. Backstreet Coffee. Okay. And uh, Mina, what are we eating again? Egg sandwich and azuki toast. What is azuki toast, Nikki? Can you explain? It's basically uh, red beans, which has been like cooked in sugar. So it's like a sweet sauce. And they put it over a massive thick slice of toast and top it with butter. Nice. Yeah. Uh... The day of carbs continues. Okay, we made it to our next location, Backstreet Coffee. We're just setting up for our main video shoot. They gave us this little private room. Private <laughs> Nikki is like catching up on the Insta story from the last shoot. Ooh. It's so hard being an influencer, guys. God. <laughs> no, it actually is a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Guys, like look at that. That is one person sandwich. Ten eggs, like really thick pieces of bread. Beat all that, Mina? Yeah. <laughs> Ten <laughs> eggs. Nikki, can you finish that? I'll try. <laughs> You'll try. Okay guys, that's what a seven centimeter slice of bread looks like. Absolutely ridiculous. Protein. <laughs> Protein. All right, guys, we got all of the food. 20 eggs in my hand right now. Wait, how many calories do you reckon this is? At least 1,300. 1,300. Per sandwich. Per sandwich. Per sandwich. Okay, it's time to eat. Mina is holding the azuki bread. It is covered in butter and a seven centimeter thick slab of bread. And Nikki has the panic bag sandwich. Panic the egg. And Ten eggs. Ten eggs cut into three pieces. 2.5 centimeter bread. Look how freaking big that is, guys. That is literally bigger than my hand. Jeez. Oh. All right, guys, let's see. <laughs> this will be really messy. Okay, yes. let's cheers. Yes. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It <laughs> is really messy. Mine's intact. Oh. <laughs> it's rich and eggy, but it's not like, it's not OTT. I mean, they didn't put anything in it besides like one or two tablespoons of mayonnaise and some parsley. Mina do omo. There's a lot of volume, but super tasty. And it's just like egg. <laughs> it's just like egg. It's just egg. <laughs> Oh my god, you got it on my hand. Um, I think it's like amazing. Protein it's loading. Protein loading, like mm. perfect after the gym. I think it's around 13 to 1400 calories with the bread, amount of bread and the 10 eggs and like the mayonnaise. Mm. Mm. But yeah, no, I think this is super delicious. So, okay, oh my god. I, I'm so full. That was so much food. Holy crap. How do you eat this? Do you have to have uh, one piece, one piece. Okay, so like it's actually been cut into three, like it's hard to see, but it's been cut like this. And he also actually put butter on the sides inside. So it's butter, butter, azuki, and, and, and then more butter. butter. <laughs> All right. Wow, guys, look how big that is. That is That's not normal. He literally measured it with a ruler. It was it was like seven or eight. It was like eight centimeters. Yeah. Right. I mean, has got the butter. Got butter the piece. Butter heavy, but oh, oh god. Look at that. Wow. This one's not nearly as messy. Okay, it's still a little messy. Oh, there goes Azuki. All right, let's try to be. Alright, <laughs> don't fight that. Oh, mama, look at the knife, Oh my god. Oh, Nikki, that's a good way to hold it. Right? Yeah, like See, hold it. if you kind of fold it in like that. Yeah, it's not that messy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <it's> like... <laughs> Mina's one is. You know, 
<laughs> that's, that is savage. Oh my god. Oh, okay, no. let's probably go. We'll use that later. Yeah, you probably don't want to use that. Okay, guys, let's dig in. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> my god. Oh, it's so mm. good. Oh, she. I was skeptical, but my god, that's good. Yeah, I'm not like a big beans guy, but like, like sweet this. Sweet beans? No, but. Mm. Mina, you like azuki, right? Yeah, I love azuki. The butter is like completely soaked into the bread, so it's super juicy, super good, so unhealthy. I not I didn't have nearly as much as you guys, so. Whatever. <laughs> Like the butter is actually slightly salty, mm -hmm. mm. so you have like the sweet and the salty and like the the oiliness and the fluffy yeah, bread. So good. Let's everyone rate the shops uh, out of five, and in terms of like taste, like value, and uh, like would you go back? So you can just kind of combine all that stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> in the rating. Let's start with you, Nikki. Well, everyone can say their dolly toast rating. Let's say a. Uh, what you liked about it and what you didn't like that much about it. I think I'd give it a three out of five. Okay. I think it was really good value for money. It's like 500 yen for like a pretty thick, you know, sandwich. That's gonna fill you up. The only thing that I would say was that they put a lot of mayonnaise in it. I'm not the biggest fan of mayonnaise, so... It was like uh, around three different layers of mayonnaise. It was like three layers of mayonnaise, mayonnaise yeah. So you have to really like mayonnaise <laughs> to like... But it's Japanese mayonnaise, which in my which opinion... Which is nicer. It Definitely tastes a lot nicer. better than American mayonnaise. That's for sure. A little lighter. Mina, you know what? The dolly no rating, the nane ga suki ga nane ga suki Uh, F5 stage no? Yeah. Uh, the... Mmm... To... Uh, four. Okay. Four out of five. Oh. Four out of five. Avocado toast, fresh avocado toast. Mm. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. So you like mm. the fresh avocado toast the best. Yeah. Nani ga like miso toast sandwich to kaski jana Ah, nika size ga. Hmm. Eski da kedo ni ikko ja tarinai na to mukka. So ikko ja tarinai kedo ni ko da to. So one is too little, but two is too much. So it's like not quite the right size. It was like kind of in between like a snack and a meal, like in the, in the middle. Yeah, so I guess if you're not like starving, I think it's a good option. Dolly mm. toast. I would give it a three and a half stars. I think it really depends on which sandwich you order. Mm. Um, I mean, we all tried like all of the sandwiches and the bulgogi one I thought was really good. It had like two types of egg in it and it had a good amount of uh, the beef and uh, it was still relatively cheap, like five bucks. I agree with Nikki. I think it had too much mayonnaise, but I'm sure if you told them just not mm. to put as much mayonnaise, so, yeah, go easy. Yeah, we just didn't know really, and we wanted to mm -hmm. film it how it is. But uh, now you guys know. So if you go to Dolly Toast and you can tell them, go easy on the mayonnaise, and I think it'll be uh, better. I really like this shop. I thought it was like super cool. It's like pretty vintage, and it's a bit out of the city, so it did take like 30 minutes to get here. I would honestly give it like a four and a half out of five. Uh, the value is insane. Like that egg sandwich is 13 or 14 dollars, but. I mean, that's gonna last you like most of the day. Like that <laughs> yeah, was sure. huge. And this Suzuki toast, it's actually only available if you tell them it's secret menu. Man, like it is so good. I've never had anything like this before and I thought it was delicious. Like, I mean, uh, this shop. This shop, it's like, mm. like, で、ここも、ここ<笑> Cool. <laughs> Alright, so, okay. <laughs> so right now we're on the second floor. Yeah. It kind of basically feels like you're in someone's house. So it's like super chill. 
and like the general atmosphere of the shop is like has an interesting vibe and then like the food as well you know it's like super photogenic super instagrammable tastes really good putting that all together you're giving it a four, four. yes four stars yep. and you nikki yeah i was i was gonna say four stars as well actually the bread just even the bread mm. bro, blows me away like it's so like terrible like so like squishy and fluffy it's so good. they bake it fresh here they bake it fresh like, it's so much better mm. than like i think the bread in japan in general is better than a lot of other countries that i've been to at least fresh baked bread in japan is just on a whole nother level especially like this type like know, kind like, of like this like... breakfast breakfast slice yeah and like the azuki <laughs> as well a bit though <laughs> i'm like not super keen on on red bean paste but this like blew my mind actually, like the combination with the butter and oh my god. A lot of foreigners when travel to Japan like will try different street foods and sometimes it has the red bean paste mm. and they're not big fans and I was one of those foreigners. Mm. I was never a fan of the red bean paste but if you try it like super fresh at a place like this on delicious bread with butter like yes. it is seriously <laughs> delicious like much better than like some like snack you get at the convenience store mm. with it anyways guys that wraps up today thanks for watching we had so much bread and sandwiches so much bread so much bread and so much egg so, yeah so much that's all we've eaten today <laughs> yeah, bread like, and egg <laughs> i don't know why we did these two shoots back to back but it made for a good video uh we're back at it tomorrow we're doing three shoots all of them are absolutely crazy tomorrow's uh, video is going to be called like 10,000 calorie day in Osaka. Oh, yeah. So I hope this helps you guys like find some cool shops to go to if you're ever in town. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. See ya.